are back now in the kitchen with Chef Augustine Pantino from Mario's Italian Restaurant in Portsmouth. We're going to be uh, cooking up some chicken Tuscany and mozzarella caprese. And, uh, well, Gus, welcome yes, to the Hampton Road Show once again, man. Well, thank you. It's cool much. to have you in here. And I we'll appreciate go with that real quick. And now, so listen, tell me quickly about uh, Mario's Italian Restaurant. It's a very great place, you know, it's family friendly. Mm -hmm. we, are, we take everybody that come. It's lovely, the food is great, we have enough space for everybody, we have live entertainment, mm -hmm. and everything is great, you know. We love to do what we do. I have a great kitchen staff, and we just want to please you. Just come and get a taste of Mario's. Yeah, we love um, to do located we like in now. Midtown, Ports have been around since 1952. You guys have been a, a pillar of the community for so long. Yes, indeed. All right, so show us what you're making today, a little caprese salad. All right, over here we have romaine heads, mm -hmm. and what I do, I cut the bottom, make sure you wash it. Right. Nothing is in it. And we are going to slice this very thinly. All right. I like to do both sides just because of the different coloring, different texture. Right. All right. Once we're done with this, there it is. We're going to line this up on the plate. Kind of mix it up a bit. Just going to drizzle it straight down, center of the plate. All right, and next comes is our tomatoes. Okay, before we do our tomatoes, uh -huh. have some basil in the refrigerator. May I? So listen, you know, you're, you're pretty much giving us a little cooking lesson right now. This is how you do it at Mario's restaurant. Precisely. People can do it at home if they'd like, or they can just get it at Mario's. Indeed. So what well, you said, you had to get some basil? Yeah, just okay. have some fresh basil leaf soaked in water so okay. it keeps its life form. Nice and crunch. And over here we have a ripe tomato which has been washed. We're going to cut it up. Nice little section. Okay. We're going to take this. We have little, these are cocktails tomatoes, very good. Uh -huh. Different texture, different taste, different feel. Okay, we get all of that together. Okay, and over here we have a fresh mozzarella. You can get this in, in, in a lot of grocery stores. Right. So what we're going to do is, we're going to take one slab, lay it right there, piece of fresh basil, right on top. So we've got a fresh tomato, and we we'll just follow the sequence. Follow the sequence. All right. So as you do that, tell me a little about yourself, Gus. Go ahead and keep on cooking. Well, wow. where are you from? I was born and raised in Africa, mm -hmm. which is uh, Liberia. Came down here in 1991. And never went to school for cooking. It's just something that came natural to me. Really? I but loved... obviously you watch a lot of people and you learn from a lot of people. Indeed. Right? I learned by sight. And right. that's how I got started. Mm -hmm. for, I got started. I worked for the government for 12 years. That's actually how I got started. Right. I started as a bouncer. And I basically like to go in the kitchen all the time. I became a line cook. Very nice. And, and we went from there. A, a year later, the chef had a big function, and she forgot to do something, and I ended up doing it. You jumped and right in. I jumped you in. You took it. over. I took over and, and did it for her, and I got started from there. She taught me everything I know. Well, let me ask you this. Uh, there's uh, the, a picture of Mario's restaurant there at Midtown. Uh, um, you've got a, a very loyal clientele that come back for more only because the, the food is delicious. Yes, it is. The food is great. The mm -hmm. people is great. I mean, they're loyal to us and we're loyal to them. We're just trying to make sure that when you get to Mario's, everything is fine. We, everything is fine. Everything and, is and fine. You, and uh, your thoughts on cooking Italian rest, uh, food. It's, it's amazing, isn't it? It's a dream come true. Yeah. A little African boy running an Italian restaurant. It's a blessed one. I mean, when you ask people what's your favorite food, people will sit there and they'll say, ah, Italian, right? I Indeed. mean, it, it goes towards the top of the list. Correct. Okay, so the, uh, the Carizzi salad, anything else you're going to add before yes, we Yes, we have on? fresh okay. avocados. Uh -huh. And what I'm doing is going to slice those. Okay, just like so. I'm going to lay them on top. Okay, so presentation is everything. Uh, Gus Pantino from Mario's is wrapping up the Carizzi salad. And in the next segment, we're going to cook what? We're going to be making you a Tuscan chicken. Tuscan chicken, so stick around for that. Good job, Gus. Thank you very much. 
Alrighty, we're back now in the kitchen with Chef Augustine Pantino from Mario's Italian Restaurant in Portsmouth. He is wrapping up his mozzarella caprese and he's moving on to his chicken Tuscany. All right, Gus, uh, wrap up that salad for us. This is a homemade balsamic reduction, and what you mm -hmm. want to do is sprinkle it nicely, a crust, and there we go. Beautiful. Our mozzarella caprese. And that is how you get it at uh, Mario's restaurant, right? Yes, yes. We Okay, so now moving on to chicken Tuscany. What's the trick to this uh, this meal? Okay, well, this is very, it's a lot of ingredients, but they all complement each other. Right. You know, we're going to st start this up right here. I take two chicken breasts. Mm -hmm. And what we do is, I already have some cooking, but it's actually a four-arm breast, and we, mm -hmm. you know, we take all the uh, tendons out of it. We pound it a little bit, and we uh, season it with a little bit of Montreal salt. And what we're going what we did here, we just go ahead and batter it in a little chicken breader, and it's actually in the oven cooking right now. Okay. All right. We'll go ahead and take us through it. Show All us right. how it's done. Well, now we have vegetable. We have. <coughs> excuse me. Put this back in here. We have some melted butter going, and right now we're gonna put all the sauce together. Okay. All right. We're gonna start with our fresh garlic. And throw the garlic in there. Let it kind of simmer, get, get the taste in there going. All right. Okay, and next, have sun dried tomatoes. Gonna include that as well. Just a touch. And we have capers right here. Try to hit the capers in there. Let it go. Seems like staples of all Italian uh, dining right there. Sun-dried tomatoes, garlic, capers. Yes. It's usually what you, what you think of. And then, of course, some black olives. Black olives, of right. course. And over here, we have some mushrooms. Uh-huh. All right. Let's okay, see. while you keep adding and cooking, go ahead. Right, okay. Um, tell us about Mario's and the great staff there and the owners. Well, Mario's is great. I'd like to um, thank all the owners for giving us the opportunity because we'd love what we do. Special Mr. Kenny Jolly, who does enough for me and my family. Mm -hmm. Mr. Michael Connor and EJ, great set of guys. Right. Now, I'm an international guy, of course, so I know a lot of different recipes from overseas. But what we try to do since the restaurant has been open since the 50s, right. we try to um, keep it traditionally. So we have a couple of people that also stay at work there from the 50s. So you have some workers there from the 50s. Indeed. And, and who are they? Mr. Ernest Cofield, and we have this girl named Cookie, uh -huh. which is the pizza specialist. That is amazing. All right. Good and for then, that. Chef, which is, he knows a lot what I know. You know, we're, we're equal. Uh -huh. He's been there, let's say, I said about good 20, 30 years. Wow. Good you, say, and, you know if they've been there for that long, it's a good restaurant. Right. Antonio Brawl, so he knows all the old recipe from back in the 60s. Back in the day. And when we all combine our heads, we come out. You might want to stand by. I'm uh -huh. going to throw a little white wine in here. All right. We're going to let that simmer. Okay. Okay. While the chicken is going. Well, it smells and looks delicious. Okay. Um, and while you wrap this up, um, right. shout out to anybody special out there? Oh, let's see. Augustine? I would like to say, you know, Hello to Krista, which is my girlfriend. She's battling cancer. Hang in there, baby. We're doing great. And basically, to all my friends and family in the kitchen, up front, we just want to thank you all very much. And thanks for the new add-on. We have a great general manager now. His name is Mr. Ben. Mm -hmm. He's doing a great job. Everyone in the kitchen, here we are. OK, it's not, it's not just for lunch and dinner, but it's also uh, uh, Sunday brunch. Tell me yes. about the Sunday brunch. Sunday brunch is great. It's a gentleman named T.O., which is a new add-on. Great chef, mm -hmm. comes up with some great menus, and he's doing it. Nice. You know? And we have a new add-on as well, Mr. Drake, that will open up morning, and then we serve also on Seafood Sunday as well after brunch. Most popular dish there at Mario's. Well, that's a lot to choose from, especially when I created Most some of them. Popular. Most popular. Give me popular. one. Shrimp and scallop Diablo. Ah, ooh. Awesome. Spicy? Just a hint. You can't have it spicy, or you can yeah. have it. What's in that? Diablo? Diablo, yeah, well. shrimp, scallop, olives. No, no olives. We have mushroom, mm -hmm. fire roasted onions and peppers, garlic, you know, in a light red sauce, basically. Ah, very nice. And that was chicken stock, by the way. Try to kill a little bit of the um, the white wine down. Okay, so is the chicken ready? Are you ready to plate? Chicken will be ready in a second. Okay. All right. And what I'm doing right now, I'm gonna ask 
homemade alfredo to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just to thicken up the sauce. Right. Oh, wow. Boy, it seems like everything is coming together really nice, guys. Yeah, this up. Seems like this would be a popular dish there at Mario's. Oh, it is as well. You know, everybody loves. We also have it in the tuna as well, over tuna, and we're just gonna let this reduce a little bit. Okay. Let the wine reduce, and we're gonna check our chicken right now. See how she's looking. Okay, as you bring that out, here's some information that you'll want to uh, remember. Mario's restaurant is located at 611. Airline Boulevard in Portsmouth. Give them a call at 673-7799 or look them up online. Mario's Italian Restaurant, Portsmouth.com. He is Gus and uh, right. he's going to wrap it up. We'll see the uh, final product in just a minute. Yes, Thank you, Gus will. Pantino. Thank Appreciate you. it. Yeah. All, All right. right. So listen, so, uh, yes, here you have it right here. Your chicken Yum. Tuscany. Let me, let me scoot up. Let me scoot and up. you should try this because it looks amazing. We want to thank sure uh, Chef. Augustine Pantino from Mario's Restaurant. Hey, Gus, did you have fun? Mm. It's your first time here on the Hampton Road Show. I had a great time. You had Thank a great you time, didn't you? You all made me feel very comfortable, and I love what I do. Thank you very and, much. And for what did I tell you when you came in here? Whose kitchen is that, Gus? My kitchen. That's your kitchen. That's right. <laughs> Whoever comes in here, that is their kitchen. <laughs> and we you are can just come visitors. back. You can come back. This you is can good. Come I just back took a bite. And bite. bring Ben and everybody else. And thanks, thanks to Mario's for being here. And uh, go out and enjoy that in Midtown Portsmouth. Okay, well, listen, thank you for joining us here on the Hampton Road Show today. Yes. We'll be back here tomorrow. The news is coming up next. Until then, we're going to enjoy our chicken Tuscany from Mario's Restaurant. Compliments of <laughs> Gus Pantino. All Have right. a great Have day, a great everybody. Have a great Wednesday, everyone.